Now we're going to look at how to set up the front page of your podcasting website so that it captures people right away, it directs them towards the right places like your subscription links, things like that, uh, and basically set up to impress people to attract them in right at the start. So first thing we do, I'm going to show you how it works on the Hostile Worlds website. So Hostile Worlds is a podcast we run, uh, talking all about space, by all means pop over and have a look if you're interested. You can see that this page is pretty standard for our podcasting page. We've got a nice banner at the top, tell people what it's a little bit about. You know, we've got the title there, we've got exploring our universe. Then we've got a bit of blurb about it. So a few paragraphs about the podcast, giving them the USP, telling them why they should listen, who it's for. We've got a video, a little trailer for the show, which is a really nice way to draw people in. This is only three minutes. So we've created that as a video. We've uploaded it to Vimeo. You can do the same with YouTube and you can embed that on your front page. And then we've got our subscribe links, which are really key for any podcast. So we've got subscribe to Apple Podcasts, subscribe to Android, subscribe to Stitcher. And finally, we've got a list of the most recent episodes. So you can see if I scroll down, you can see all of the recent episodes. Now this kind of layout is really easy to make in Divi and I'm gonna show you how it's all laid out. So if I go in, edit that page, all I'll do here is you'll see the Divi editor. So the first thing we're doing is the full width image. So this is how I got the banner at the very top there. You use the full width image module and you've got a full width section as well. So you click full width section, insert modules, and then you've got full width image. So you would create that. In here, the settings we've got are basically just the picture. All you do is upload that image. You want a really big image, maybe 1400 pixels wide, something like that. And in here, all the rest of the settings really are just default. So you can stick with them as normal. Next down, let's have a look at the page again as well. So next down below that banner, so that was the banner here. Next time we just have the bit of text. So we've got a title, the text and the video. So here we go. I've got post title. <clears throat> so that is a module. This is a standard section. So if you were to create this section, it's just standard section. You click on add standard section and it'll give you a layout and we've got half and half. So you create that half and half and then you can draw things in. You can also add a new row, which would be full width. That's how we get this layout that you can see here in that we've got the post title, which is the full width. And then we've got the text and the video, which are half width each. And actually below that, we have the subscription links you can see iTunes, Android, Stitcher, they're all third width. So you can create big combinations here. Just move them around. You grab the side here. Uh, sorry, you grab the actual box here and you can move them around, reorder them. So I would have a full width. I could create insert module. <clears throat> Go down to page uh, post title, insert that. And all we're doing here is saying show title. You can show the metadata or not. I would tend to, to turn that off for this type of um, this type of context. Okay, and that'll show the post title. So below that, we've got text. So a standard text module. Go in here, look for text, scroll down. Here we go here, further down the bottom. And all you get is a bit of text. So that's where I put in these paragraphs. So you just type in your description there. Save and exit. And on the right hand side, we have the video. So there's a video module in here as well. So it's great that Divi offers you all of these really simply. All you do is copy and paste in your YouTube link or your, uh, your Vimeo link and it'll display that video right there. Nothing else really to edit in here. So all you do, yep, paste in that Vimeo or YouTube link there and that'll play it on the page. Finally, we've got the links here and we just use them. We just create them through buttons. So what would I, I would do is add a row. I'll do thirds because I want three. Insert module and then you've got button. And in here, this is what goes in the button. So subscribe iTunes or Apple Podcasts these days. And the URL. So you go to iTunes or Apple Podcasts on the web, find your subscribe URL and put it in there and you could do it in a new tab since it's an external page. And if you save that now, then that's the button in place. And that's it really. Below that, we've got our blog. So this is a blog module. So this is what shows all the previous posts. So 
So to show you how to create that, I would create another standard section, full width, because I want those to be full width. So you could do half and half. <clears throat> Insert module. Come down here, search for blog. So we're looking for block, which I missed up at the top here. And that's what we want. We want to show how many posts we're going to show. You can choose particular categories. Let's say we do all of them. So you can show everything on the site or you can just show certain aspects. So you could show season one, season two. Uh, and then you've got featured image. You've got a few options down here about what you would put in there. I quite like to have the read more button, take off a lot of the metadata. So take away author, you know, categories, dates, that type of stuff. Save and exit. And that is the blog one in there. So that is on this page. That is what shows these previous posts. Finally, you'll see at the very bottom here, we've got a couple of things. We have uh, reviews which come through a system we use called Podrover powered by Podrover. So that'll just be, I believe, that is just code, yeah. So just full width section, full width code, and we've put an embed code in there, basically from a different bit of software. So you can embed anything you want into this as well. So that's what shows those reviews, Podrover. And then finally, we've got a, a, lead, a, a lead capture. So basically a email opt-in. So we've got an image on the right. You've just got an image module. So again, to create this, I would add row, half and half. We've got image on the right, so we look for the image module. There it is there. You can upload it here, upload an image, find the one you want to use. Uh, on the left-hand side, we've got code, because that's actually an embed code from our uh, email system, which is ConvertKit. So I put in a bit of text and I just embed the form itself. So that form is actually straight from ConvertKit. So I would use the code section for that. And that is the whole page. And that works really well for us. It's quite a simple one. We could do more to that page. And I'll show you how to do more with more tools uh, later in this course, once we create the growth and the monetization sections. But for now, that is a really good basic place to start. And it's way above what a lot of people do in terms of having a nice, attractive front page, which has that how to interact with you at the top, you know that blurb, why you should subscribe, really talk them into it, a trailer, the buttons to subscribe straight away, then obviously guide them towards the content itself, and then once they've had a look through that, you've got that lead capture below. And of course, if you really wanted to, the reviews as well for some more social proof. So I hope that gives you an idea of how to create a good static front page for your podcast.